in order for the city to build the uh, pier that has to hold all of this stuff up, we are going to, we, it's going to cost us $120 million. It's going to cost the Warriors somewhere around $80 million for a total today, and the number is changing as they learn more and more about what is required to build a concrete platform in the water, they are learning it's going up and up and up because the engineering is so complex and the costs are so um, uncertain. If you don't believe me, take a look at the bridge. We've been building bridges in this city, in this country, for 100 years. We still can't get the Bay Bridge right. We've got leaks. We've got bolts that are falling apart. What's going to happen with this first-of-a-kind pier that's going to hold up this kind of a project? Never mind earthquakes, which we, where we saw freeways come down, they tell us this one will be earthquake proof. Right. Can I believe that one? Nope. Um, so, it's going to cost today about $200 million. We, as a city, have to pay 120. We don't have it. Port doesn't have it, city doesn't have it, but we're going to get it. We're going to borrow it from the Warriors, and here's how we're going to pay it back. We're going to sell them a piece of land here, which is a publicly owned piece, Seawall Lot 330, for approximately $30 million. That price has already been set. It was set a couple of years ago by an appraiser who didn't appraise for the extra height that they are seeking, so they got a cheap deal on that, $30 million towards repaying 120 that we're going to borrow from them up front. Secondly, we're going to create value when, if this is built, and that usually that extra value tax money goes to the city to run police, fire, health, muni, etc. In this case, it's going to go to pay the loan back. And then finally, the, the Warriors are going to be here for free rent for 30 years. All of that adds up to $120, $120 million without counting the interest, which is being debated right now. Initially, the first deal, and it's still the only official deal, is 13% interest. Now, you can get a better rate borrowing money at the corner of a payday store. But the city's going to pay 13% in the first deal. Now, they say they've changed it, but we haven't seen any official documents indicating that, so it's to be determined. But well, we raised so much hell over that, it probably will change. But the bottom line is, if they want to build a structure for themselves, then they ought to pay yes, for that structure. Uh, yeah. The city should not be paying. We've got other needs right. to uh, put that money to use for. And in my case, and I'm going to end here and then take your questions. Uh, in my case, all of this public land should go to build affordable and middle class housing like we have done elsewhere in that same neighborhood. I don't worry about people who can afford five to $10 million condominiums. I don't worry about it. So here's the project that I'm talking about, which is right here. So I rise This is the 17-story luxury condos. Here's some open space, warrior style. See the roof? That's the roof of the retail. And here's some of the alleyways that are gonna have open space. And here's the two towers for the hotel, and this is the shopping area. Warriors tell us they're going to bring us jobs, so does the mayor. <laughs> two types of jobs. One is construction jobs. For building all of this, does anybody know an unemployed construction worker in this city today? A lot of them. Uh -uh. We have work for the next 10 to 15 years going on. Look at all the cranes and derricks, and there's more in the pipeline, like the Trans Bay Terminal. And a huge, what is it, 75 stories are going to put there. So, unemployment is not a problem uh, for the building trades in this city today and for the even foreseeable or distant future. Second item that they say we're bringing us a job are retail jobs, people who uh, work in shopping centers as clerks, and um, people who work in the arena 
taking tickets and selling uh, team sports paraphernalia and all that. Usually minimum wage or a little bit better. Those kinds of jobs don't support anybody living in this city. They have to commute in from other parts of the Bay Area where there's affordable housing to rent and hopefully for them to buy if they're so inclined. So those jobs don't mean a lot in terms of the value that we need for San Francisco. Um, I think that's enough. I'll take questions and hopefully answer. Uh, we'll start out with you, Jay, and give you more information. Do you um, want to call on them? Shall I? Shall I call on them? I'll call them out because then I'll be able to say last question. Okay. Cool. Okay. And good evening, Mr. Mayor. Um, could you talk about the difference from when the Giants built theirs and what was going on with that? No. Compared to now? No. Okay. 1998, 1988, a golden era started in San Francisco. I became mayor. In 1988, one of the first crises that I faced was that the Giants were going to leave if they didn't get a new ball club. So I went to see Bob Lurie, and I uh, told him that I had a place, and I took him to where the Willie May statue is today. We stood right on that corner, and I said, this is where we're going to put the ballpark. And uh, then there were railroad tracks going through there, there were abandoned warehouses. It was a kind of a dead-end neighborhood in San Francisco, that whole area. Uh, a lot of state buildings that were not used. Um, as I said, abandoned warehouses. So he liked it, and we started. And then in 1989, it was put on the ballot, and uh, we lost by 1% because we had, it was about 10 days after the earthquake and everybody was kind of upset and wanted to use money um, that might have gone for the improvements over here. They wanted to use it to repair the city, even though it was federal money. So, um, uh, the, that was the site on land that we chose for the ballpark. It's not on water, it's on land where it is today. And as a matter of fact, you haven't asked me the question, but on lot A, which is on the other side in Willie McCovey Cove, I was going to put a basketball arena for the Warriors. So this is not about being an anti-basketball fan or an anti-Warriors. It is about being pro-San Franciscan and how we use our public land. No, my question is, Mr. Mayor, is with that Warriors stadium, the cost the, the cost of it, and we're getting the shaft in a sense, and the jobs and stuff that probably won't be except the low end jobs. Yeah. Um, it's a, the, what, the Giants pay for it all themselves. They pay for it we all themselves. We didn't put any money into it. So they're not willing to pay and for they it all themselves? Have, no. They've been paying rent. The Giants started paying rent the first day they opened the ballpark. These guys are not going to pay any rent because we're going to have to pay back some of that money for the $120 million we're going to borrow from. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but the difference between the Giants and this proposal is, one, it's on land. Two, the Giants pay for it all. They made some improvements around uni and stuff like that. Come on, Patrick. This is my time. Um, and, and, and so, uh, uh, and then it wasn't the a neighborhood. Nothing existed. Okay. He's last because he's a plant. He's number three. <laughs> yeah. He's last. And so is she. They're, you know, they're paid. I'm glad to know that. Okay. Or she is. You, you're paid to be here. I got it. I hope you're paying you lots of so like. Uh My question is, has there been an environment study or impact on the area for which the arena would be built in the condo? Because it is waterfront property it's sensitive. Because there was a major problem with the necessity when Treasure Island was being built because people were concerned as well. Yep. Good question. And it's going on now. It's uh, underway. And as they do the environmental impact study, they have to look at uh, two other sites. One of them is Lot A, the Giants ballpark, uh, uh, Giants uh, parking lot. And the other one is, I think, the Salesforce uh, <coughs> further in Michigan. Um, so they're looking at two other sites. 
technically. You'll be yeah. after Patrick, so. My uh, my question is, how come we have to borrow money from a team that wants something on our land? That's a good question, because I think this is my personal opinion. I think the mayor is dazzled, starstruck by the Warriors. It can be very seductive. I've been there, and I've been romanced by football teams and basketball teams and baseball teams, and it's very to go up to these guys that you used to watch growing, growing up. I think the mayor's a little starstruck, and he's giving them what they want. I think it's a mistake. One more question. By the way, I've asked to debate the mayor. I've asked to debate the mayor anywhere, anytime, any place, and he has refused because he thinks all I'm trying to do is get publicity. And he's right. I am trying to get publicity. Because I think the people of this city have to know what this thing means so they can make an informed choice about how we use public land. Another thing I do, I disagree, I with, I disagree with the fact that they would want to use our land without getting the people's permission. And well, I also, an and I also that. think that that is wrong for the, for, the, for the city and the mayor himself, because I feel it's more behind this than just a spot struck at this. I think it's more thing behind that. Well, that's all I'm saying. And I'm, well, I'm not afraid to say it. So I would, I think, if they want to get this thing passed, they have to come to the voters. And the voters have to approve. Not, not city council, not the mayor, but the city. I want to tell you uh, an last answer, last part. Um, you will have a chance to vote on it. There's going to be a ballot measure, which uh, the organization I'm allied with is not supporting and not involved with, but I am as a former mayor, and that is Proposition B, which says that any place on the waterfront that a developer seeks to go above the height limit, it has to go to a vote of the people. And so clearly, uh, that's going to be in June. It's Proposition B. So if the Warriors want to go this high, and this high on the waterfront, they're going to have to come to you for a vote to get approved. And that's B. That's B. Please don't blur it out. Okay, Patrick. Okay, so my question is: <laughs> have the, we have the highest have <laughs> density transit at that site, far more than any other site that could be possible for this. That's a four day question. That's a question. No, he's getting to the state. Get to it, sorry. Uh, second of all, we have a site that hasn't been able to be developed and productive. I live a block and a half away. It is not a pretty site because it's so expensive to fix. This, uh, the part where the city quote unquote pays for it, the project actually pays to fix that pier as opposed to the city. We don't, we don't pay anything. There are middle class workers who I've talked to who live in the city and want to work at this site. Aren't those three compelling reasons why this should take place? Mm. Given, no. the fact, given the fact that we're going to get lot A, which was your other choice, lot A is your other choice, which I used to think was a really good choice, but the Giants development produces a significant and meaningful amount of dollars and units inclusionary for affordable housing. This has been an impossible site to develop otherwise. This is a unique opportunity. It produces $280 million for the city every year. Doesn't this make sense? The highest transit corridor, middle class workers want to work there. Is that the highest? Well, let's just talk about transit. I don't think there are any employed middle class building trades in this city. I really don't. And I don't think any middle class people could support themselves in this city working as a retail uh, Somewhere well, the theatrical stage workers, the local 16, local, well, local 22 is yeah. carpenters. But you've got the unions that work at, a lot of the workers who are going to lose the 49ers can pick up something. Well, then maybe we should put it out of candlestick so we don't. Two car yeah. rented, that's my concern. But anyway, let, me just just that's let me just talk about transit. Let me talk about transit. Let me talk about transit. This is not the most intensive transit district. Market Street is, not, not that street. And why, if this state is so transit, um, Transit, um, 
Loaded, yep. impacted, driven. What's the right word? Oriented. So full of transit, do we have to kick people off the M. Judah line to take the empty car down to Market Street to use that corridor to get people down to the Giants games? If we're so transit uh, <coughs> intense, we're not. And we never will be, because this was never designed for almost six million people a year. It was designed for a neighborhood. It wasn't designed for a ballpark, even. But we make do with the Giants by doing what I said, kicking people off and bringing the empty cars to Market Street. A better spot would be Lot A of the Giants, where we're going to have the new Crosstown Tunnel that goes from 4th and Townsend to Chinatown. And people can get on. That'll be a new, the T-Line. That'll be another one. So we, the, uh, it'll be closer to Lot A to uh, Caltrain. So it's much more intense transit to be at Lot A than it is on the water where there's only one road to get in and out as well as one muni line. Great. Barbus? Um, since apparently, as you're saying, the city borrowing $120 million from the Warriors to build a ballpark, why can't the Warriors just pay for it by the town? Right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. that's right. So the, the, the pier, the pier, the pier, which is going to cost somewhere about $200 million plus. Well, that's a good question, because the Giants paid for their own, and so should they. But these guys uh, are asking for it, and the mayor's giving it to them. Yeah. May I get in some from it? No, sure. sure. Um, thank you for your presentation. Um, but since this project is in the bay, does yeah. it have to get regional approval besides the county of San Francisco? Oh, we're just at the beginning of this process. Look, there hasn't been an application made for this project yet. They have run into so many issues, so many problems, financing and uh, planning and all that stuff that they have delayed it now another year. They were supposed to start construction in a couple of weeks, months in July. That was the original plan. Now they aren't even bringing an application forward for another year because of all the issues that have, have arisen around this particular site. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's never going to get built. But that's just my opinion. I think we can build it at a better site for San Franciscans that do not cost us any money uh, and isn't using public land to enrich billionaires who own the waters. What it boils down to. That's right. That's right. Gentlemen in the white shirt. <clears throat> but I'm sorry, I didn't fit. The, uh, they do have to go, not only they have to go to the Port Commission, they have to go to the uh, Planning Commission, then the Board of Supervisors, then it goes to the Regional Planning Body, BC Bay Conservation, and BCDC, yeah. Bay Conservation Development, which, which says anything you can build on land you cannot or should not build on water. That certainly can be built on land. And yeah. then after that goes to Army Corps of Engineers and some other. So it's got at least, I say, five years worth more. By that time, maybe they'll see the light and build somewhere else. Where would you put the project? A couple of places. Lot A, I like. As a matter of fact, in 1990, I had an agreement with the Warriors. Um, the owners then, they were Jim. Fitzgerald and Dan Finan, um, to build an arena at Lot A. But then uh, uh, we ran into the recession and all the rest of it, and the voters turned me out. I lost, and my successor didn't follow up, so we didn't get anything. But, so what I'm saying that for is because I have nothing against the Warriors. So Lot A is a good site. Uh, I think Candlestick is a good site. It's on the water. It's on the bay, uh, but not in the water, by land. We've got a football stadium we're about to tear down for 65,000 people. An 18,000 person arena would be a piece of cake with all the parking they could ever dream of. We got the freeway access, we got the new T-Line. And frankly, Bayview is the only part of the city that does need economic development. The unemployment rate there is about 15%. In the rest of the city, it's about five. So if we were to put something there, we could um, make a difference in terms of improving the city and creating the kind of economic opportunities that we'd like to see out there. Now the gentleman in the white shirt. So I'm curious, you're talking about putting 
you're saying that that site's better for affordable housing. Are you talking about out on the pier or on the sea road?